What is going on, you guys? I kind of wanted to play a game I have never uploaded on my channel before. Uh, it's Jurassic World Evolution. By the title of the video, you guys want to learn how to make money. I'm basically going to get off this map, uh, and we're going to go to a different island. We're going to play on a map I pretty much got established. You guys want to learn how to make money really, really fast. So, um, the basics of it is you need some high rating dinosaurs um, so for instance let's zoom in here you see this stratosaurus is just a plain stratosaurus um, nothing really special about it this one over here on the other hand is genetically modified so I've got a different skin on it um, so it's pretty it boosted its rating to 97 so uh, this one by default was 73 so that's the first step. Get a dinosaur with a high rating to increase visitor population. Pretty much all my revenue is coming from my food shops or food stands, um, my gift shop, clothes shop. Right now my income is uh, $1,925. Got 77 guests. Running cost is $1,324 and you see that my income just boosted. Uh, so the total that I'm making per minute is 826. Uh, I just got up to 86 guests. So uh, my give close shop, 58 guests out of 320, $870 per minute. And I just dropped 727. Uh, 213 running cost, $514. And give shop. 53 guests, 535 income, 235 running cost of $300 overall. So the first thing I think of where is the, the highest population of guests at. So this one, I'm doing quite a bit better. 264 guests, $7,935 income, 600 and, sorry, 6,348 running cost, and 1,587 per minute of income. Uh, this one for guests, which really I could erase this entirely. I'm actually going to drop my staff down. Uh, this one doing quite a bit better. So we've got 114 out of 435 guests, $2,736 of income, 820 running cost, $1,900 profit. Um, and I've got another restaurant over here. Kind of what I do is at first, you know, when I get my guests built up, that's when uh, I start to increase my pricing. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to max it out until we we'll keep 240. All right, so there we've got 3,000. So we could potentially increase this all the way up to $60 and still make 6,000. But you lose so many of your guests, so like, is it worth it? Mm, probably not. So we'll just boost this up to $32, increase our staff, and then we will kind of back off until we see it go up, maybe. Um, okay, so let's see, two. We'll leave it in this area, we'll just say $40. Um, but really, that's really what I do to uh, make it successful. Um, oh my, forty-five dollars? No, we're gonna back that off a little bit. Get up to two hundred twenty dollars, twenty-two dollars will be fine. Um, but really. It's all about where your guests are. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick kind of example. Uh, let me see if I find somewhere to put this next dinosaur. We're going to put a T-Rex up in this exhibit or up in this uh, park. So uh, we want some fences. We want the electrified heavy steel fence. Uh, so we're just going to kind of make it around this area back here because T-Rex needs a lot of space alright so we've got a 
a decent sized enclosure for it. Uh, now we need a viewing gallery. Uh, there we go. So then I've got to decide where I want to place it. Uh, probably there will be fine. Uh, then we'll place, uh, kind of build our sidewalk to it. We'll put a creation lab right about here. Uh, there we go. Because as you can see, my 15 million uh, profits. You know, I don't have to worry about too much. All right, so we'll place that there. I want to put a tower back here. Uh, do do do. There we go. Viewing platform. There we go. All right, so everything should have power. Everything should be good. And now we can put some landscaping in here. Add some water. Uh, kind of put it off to the side over here maybe and then we need to add some uh, force bound to it Can, uh, put some back over here I don't think the T-Rex needs that much forest biome or forest in his uh, Enclosure. I'll go ahead and add some shrubs and stuff. Alright, there we go. So, 1,194. Yes, so we're going to see if after this T Rex gets through incubating, if it goes up at all. So, I will see you guys as soon as that gets through. Alright, guys, so our T Rex is ready to be released. Let's go ahead and release it. Um, and we'll see if our. Um, guess the population increases at all should I uh, just want to make sure this t-rex is like happy with like its enclosure because uh, if you don't keep it happy then I think there's a very small margin for like how our right, comfort 98 99 uh, hundred so it looks good uh, Okay, so it's fine. Alright, so let me see what the rating of my. Oh, well, I just disappeared into the trees. So, 388 dinosaur rating. So, let's go into our managerial views here. Oh, wait, let's see. So, there you go. A 400 increase in guests just by releasing that T Rex. But anyway, if you just keep like doing like I showed you, then kind of watch like where the guests travel the most. Yeah, that's that's really all there is to it if you want to learn how to make a lot of money really quickly. Um, you just save up, find places where there is a high population of guests and high traffic areas, sticky a restaurant and some shops right there and then you just kind of keep an on eye on it and like the more the guests come in the more you can increase your prices and in turn get more money um that's how i'm getting let me go back here no oh, it's uh profit per minute 385,000, and i think on a one i have like 500 and something i think um but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know if you guys want to see more Jurassic World Evolution, and I will see you guys later.